Shalom, brothers and sisters. You want to know how, how big of a joke this whole save the planet climate change agenda of theirs is, right? Green hypocrisy in full swing. 16 million trees axed for wind farms in their eco-crusade in Scotland. Scottish National Party ministers admitted to felling close to 16 million trees to make room for wind farms on public land after the government says they plan to get all their power bill from renewable energy this year and by that means cut all the carbon use that would have been used to get it the other way but let's destroy the one thing that can actually process carbon and turn it into oxygen carbon in oxygen out let's destroy all of those and what takes oxygen in and gives carbon out well, mankind's on that list, so maybe you're the carbon they're trying to reduce. Mary Gurgan, the Rural Affairs Secretary, conceded that around 15.7 million trees were cleared since 2000 from areas presently managed by Forestry and Land Scotland. The figures equate to over 1,700 trees felled daily. Despite this, Gurgen insisted on a planning presumption in favor of protecting woodland, expecting wind farm developers to take compensatory planting elsewhere. So cut down as many trees as you want, which are actually helping you with your carbon issues you're so focused on, but promise to plant some new ones somewhere else later. New, from scratch, which is going to take how long to get to the point where the big ones are right now? Woodlands that are ancient or of high conservation value should not suffer from mass felling because of other rare and endangered plants and animals that will be lost too. In other locations where plantations were, the trees have been harvested anyway. A pragmatic approach would be to ensure that the timber is used for buildings or other ways that do not release the carbon stored in the trees into the atmosphere. Lindsay Ward, a Highlands wind farm activist, said not only are millions of CO2 absorbing trees being felled for turbines, but hundreds of thousands of acres of ancient carbon holding peat are being dug up as well. The Scottish Government has pledged to cover more than one fifth of Scotland's land area with trees by 2032 to help tackle the climate emergency. But in the process, what's actually happening is 16 million plus trees so far and rising being cut down in their pledge to plant more trees. Do you see how this whole thing is just twisted and confused and doesn't make sense? And they're not even to mention what a crisis the whole wind farm situation is with how they're breaking down and the issues they're experiencing. It's a farce. And like I said, the carbon that they actually want to reduce is me and you. I can at least make a pledge to them that there's going to be a major carbon reduction when the church is raptured very shortly one of these days. That should help them meet their goals a little bit quicker. God bless. Keep looking up and keep watching. Shalom.